So Roxanne Ribó González is a 24-year-old young lady who has many goals in life. Now, one of them is to become Miss Massachusetts USA 2018, and from there, she hopes to represent the USA in the Miss Universe pageant. Now, but her career goals go well beyond the beauty pageant scene. She's been involved in community events since a very young age, and she hopes to continue to give back to her community as she gets older and achieves her goals. Let's hear about those goals now as we warmly welcome Roxanne. Hi, Roxanne. Hello. Now, you this is not your first time here at Channel 7. No. You were here, what was it, about four years ago? I, I think it was four years ago, yeah. Not on Revista, nope. on Urban, Urban Update. Update with Byron yep. and Regla Gonzalez. Yes, right? I was here. So what were you doing? Let our folks know. I was speaking about the uh, LULAC scholarship program that we have here in Massachusetts. We have a wonderful event every year where they elect a winner to send over to the national convention. And not only that, but they also, by the ticket sales, they raise um, money to give scholarships out to young people young Latino students in Massachusetts going out into the university and college world. Um, it's, it's something that I've been a part of for, I want to say, 12 years already. So it's something I'm very passionate about. Right. So that's why you were on Urban Update. And then somewhere along the way, uh, you really got into the, the, the pageant. I mean, I know you've been involved in the community stuff, but you always kind of like to walk the runway, too, and I've seen you in some of the local like um, modeling stuff and all that stuff, right? Yes, for sure. I've actually been competing. My very first pageant was the Lulac Sweetheart pageant when I was 13, so 11 years ago. It's been a, it's been a long, long journey. Mm. What do you, uh, what, well, how, do you, how do you describe your career path now? It's um, a little hectic, but I definitely, like you said before, I'm someone with a lot of goals. I, I like to put my mindset into a lot of different things and accomplish as many as I can. Um, currently a style advisor at Saks Fifth Avenue, but Beyond that, my career goal is to pretty much do what you do and just, you know, be on TV and in inspire the Latino community that they can pretty much achieve anything they put their mind to. Mm. So take me through your um, kind of personal journey. Where were you born? Where did you go to school? I was born in Carolina, Puerto Rico. Um, my father is actually still over there. Um, my, fam my mother's family is here. I grew up in Randolph, Massachusetts, where I studied at Randolph High School. And from there, I went off to La Salle College, studied a few years there, and in Universidad de Puerto Rico. Mm. How are things in Puerto Rico with your family? It's pretty I... tough. Um, it's been a couple of very hectic weeks. Um, it's, it's hard to describe the feeling that you have when you can't have any type of communication, especially with someone like your father. But um, luckily, they are okay, they're alive, um, and I'll be um, honored that I'll be able to see them very soon, in a couple weeks. I would imagine that as you go forward in all of this, and if you have success, um, the Puerto Rico cause or the help for victims will be something that will be very close to your heart? Definitely. As soon as the devastation happened, my family and I actually were able to raise a lot of funds and donations. We actually were able to fill up a whole truck and send it over. Um, not only that, but we made personal packages for people that are closer to us, like my father, my grandma, and close relatives. And actually, yesterday, they received the last package with all of the necessities that they needed. Oh, good. So that's a little bit of good news, yes, right? Yes, for sure. All right. So tell me about this journey now that you've ta undertaken, right? Miss Massachusetts USA 2018. What does that entail? Well, this will be my third year competing, so third time's the charm. Um, each year that I compete, I compete with about 60 delegates from the state of Massachusetts. Each time, I've been honored to be in the top 15 semifinalists. Um, it consists of interview, um, swimsuit, and evening gown. So it's a little bit of everything. They ask you some questions about yourself, about your opinion on everything that's going on in our community and in our world, and you get to walk gracefully in a beautiful gown on stage. Okay, so can I ask you a, f a couple of questions that, uh, that you might get asked? <laughs> sure. Okay, let's do this one. If you, because I, I remember a couple of years ago, this was maybe 10 years ago, I was asked to be one of the judges from Miss mm -hmm. Massachusetts, and, and then they have you, and you get to ask one question of each girl, right? Yep. They come in. Uh, so my question was, if you could have dinner with anybody in history, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Ooh. 
All right, well, I'm obsessed with Jennifer Lopez. So oh, that I, makes two of us. That makes two I of love us. her. <laughs> She's actually one of my very big role models. I feel like she is a Puerto Rican from um, New York, and she went from nothing to everything, and that's pretty much what I aspire she's to She's an be. amazing yeah. businesswoman. She does everything. She yeah. can do it all. And you know who she's dating? A friend of mine. Yeah. Oh, really? Your yeah. best friend? Well, he's not my best oh, okay. friend, but you know, I, I've known Alex for a long, long time. Nice. Um, so I'm hoping at some point uh, he introduces me to yeah. her. And I'll get that selfie with A-Rod. Who cares? I'll yeah, yeah. Just crop him out. <laughs> Make sure he's on the side. Yeah. <laughs> But so that's good. That's the I, I, so Jennifer Lopez because of what she's done. You're yes. right. She's a great business person, a great business woman, and uh, obviously beautiful and talented mm -hmm. and so forth. No, that's a good one. All right. So let's talk a little bit about your mom. How uh, important has your mom been in your life? My mom is a young mom. She had me in Puerto Rico when she was 15. So us growing up pretty much together has taught me to be the, the young woman that I am. I have three younger siblings and being able to be there through every step of the way while they were growing up has shaped me into who I am. So my, my relationship with my mom is pretty close. I learn a lot from her as she learns from me. And with this whole pageant journey that I've been on in the past 12 years, she has been very supportive and she is excited for what my future holds. Ok, vamos a hablar un poquito en español. Sí. Para dejar que la gente sepa que usted habla español. <laughs> Eres puertorriqueña, naciste en Carolina mm -hmm. y ahora el, el, la competencia esta es la misma Massachusetts 2018, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, pero ya llevas años, eh, especialmente con Lula. Envuelta en la comunidad en muchas cosas. Mm -hmm. Eh, yo estaba involucrada en LULAC y también en la organización de Latinos en Acción de Waltham. Oh, okay. You were talking about Waltham earlier. So, sí, estaba involucrada con ellos y hice muchos servicios comunitarios con ellos. Eh, casi todos tenían que ver con los niños. Eso es algo que me apasiona mucho por mis, por mis hermanos. Y, ya. Yeah. Te encanta. <laughs> me encanta. Oh, háblame, uh, Víctor, nuestro amigo Víctor, ¿verdad? Sí, te, te está sí, apoyando. Sí. De Boston Cosmetics. He tenido la oportunidad de tener muchas personas que me, que me apoyan en todo lo que hago y este año soy digna de que tengo un sponsor como Víctor de Boston Cosmetics. Víctor Moody. De Boston Cosmetic and Laser Center y me está ayudando mucho a perfeccionar todo lo que tengo que hacer para estar ready para la competencia. ¿Y qué es lo que más te.? ¿Cuál es la parte de la competencia que más te. ¿Qué más temes? Por ejemplo, ¿es el, la, la competencia en traje de baño, gala o las preguntas y respuestas? Creo que mi parte favorita sería la entrevista porque le he dado la oportunidad al jurado conocer quién yo soy, pero la parte que me da un poco de miedo sería el traje de baño porque, no sé, me da nervios y especialmente hace mucho frío ahí. Oh, okay, no sabía eso. So good, so we'll come back to English now. All right, so we'll take me through this. Uh, it's, when's the competition? November 18th and 19th in the Lowell Memorial Auditorium. So, oh, it's coming up now. It's coming up in two weeks. Oh, yeah. so what are you in the middle? What's going to happen in the next two weeks? The final touches. I'm waiting on my gown that I get next week. I have a couple of classes with makeup with my best friend who is from Puerto Rico, Rafael Escobar. He's been teaching me makeup and hair because we're not allowed to uh, bring makeup artists to oh, the you competition. you have to do it yourself? Yes, you have to be very self-sufficient. Oh. So um, that's another thing that I enjoy about the pageant community because it forces you to learn how to do things that, you know, in the real world, maybe you wouldn't you wouldn't bother trying. Awesome. All right, well, we wish you a lot of luck. And remember, uh, if you win, you have to come back. And if you win Miss Universe, you definitely have to come of back. Of course, I'm going to be Diana Torres. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, thank you and good luck. Thank you. All right, that's it for this edition of Raviti Pana. But before we go, a special shout out to Maria Rosa Cabrera and her lovely daughter, Dio, Dio, Dio Pimentel. Thanks for always watching Raviti Pana. For everyone here at Channel 7, have a great Sunday, everyone. Bye-bye.